I assume you still remember that thing or you have seen it often enough. The prototype of my laboratory water bath, which I use for etching PCBs. So uh, yeah, precision temperature control and precision temperature measurement wire. Yeah, two thermocouples. Yeah, I used my multimeter to do the temperature measurements. Anyway, I used that for a while and um, it works fine, uh, but I learned a lot of things about it, or at least two things. First, if you run that thing as it's supposed to be run, that is with water in it, uh, on the other side of course, yeah, the temperature of the heating element and the sensors, it never goes far beyond 100 degrees Celsius. If I'm just etching stuff and my target temperature is 45 degrees Celsius, yeah, they never go up to 60 at most, uh, the one here on the heating element. Second, for some applications I have in mind, this is a little bit too small. So I want it to be a wee bit larger. And oh yeah, there's a third point. I absolutely want, yeah, the side here, yeah, overhanging over the case on all sides. I do not want it to be embedded embedded in any case because uh, yeah it, it's so easy to take it up uh, take it over to the sink and at least on that side simply yeah pour it out so the prototype was well worth it but now it's time to do the real thing and I have the parts for it, at least for the hot and wet end. Yeah, the regulator stuff, uh, display stuff is uh, still in the post. And I have a plan, okay? So uh, my emergency temperature cutoff will be now uh, of a 120 degrees C type. The sensors for measuring the uh, yeah, K, uh, temperature of the basin and the temperature of the heating element will now be uh, DS18B20s. Yeah, I've made me videos, a lot of them, uh, card link. And uh, yeah, a nice temperature, <laughs> high temperature silicon cable with a yeah, lot of wires in it. Uh, watertight connector. Of course, this thing is bigger, so uh, twice as big. So we need two heating elements because we don't want to wait uh, too long for the water to heat up. And I have here, uh, this is three millimeter Macrolon or a poly whatever sheet and uh, that's good well it's transparent that was the cheapest it's not white this is just some foil on it uh, but that is also good up to 125 degrees celsius and the reason i have that is the heating elements and yeah the sensors they all go on, on to the back of course and i needed a case and my yeah my first idea was is, yeah simply buy a case and uh, yeah just take one half uh, glue it somehow here uh, on but um, yeah i ran into problems i only got cases which were yeah had the right size but were far too high or I got cases which uh, had almost the right size but they were of ABS plastic or something like that which doesn't withstand uh, temperatures up to 125 degrees C or not even sh you shouldn't use it even up to 100 degrees C so yeah that was out of the question <clears throat> buying a case that is. So now the idea is to have a 20 centimeter 
by 22 centimeter walls going up here. Yeah, made out of that stuff, plexiglass or whatever. And uh, obviously not that high, just uh, about uh, four centimeters. We have a look at the plan and then yeah, cover it up with a three millimeter sheet of that stuff. And this will require some uh, precision machining to fit together. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the plans. So that drawing is one to one. These are my 10 millimeter polyacrylic walls going around here in the middle my heating elements and here yeah some big holes for that waterproof connector okay and yeah first i <laughs> will have to saw that plate here the 10 millimeter plate into pieces and the pieces should be 37 millimeters wide. Uh, yeah, this will give me when this, that thing here is basically in five millimeter wiggle room to the top and the bottom. So uh, yeah, nothing will bind up when you plug it in actually. Let's get started. I measured 37.2 between the saw blade and the fence at two points and these 0.2 millimeters are just yeah <clears throat> insurance for my own inability to <laughs> make straight cuts uh, but i also checked out that my fence and my blade and everything is at a right angle so let's rock and roll That's the cut from the factory and that's my first cut. Hmm. Not too bad. I could up the, yeah, let the blade run a little bit slower and so, but I won't change anything now because I need, yeah, four identical pieces. Yeah, I'm full of that stuff now. And uh, would you believe <laughs> these particles, when they come off the saw, flying off the saw, they are actually hot. I mean, you're not burning hot, but uh, yeah, uncomfortably hot. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, clean up. This glass plate here is the flattest surface I have. And if you search for something flatter, you're on the wrong channel, obviously for now <laughs> and yeah it turned out well I wouldn't say perfect but yeah this is absolutely smooth okay next step uh, yeah I had a plan uh, where is it yeah, I need two holes going in here and then in the inner part tapped for N3. And yeah, in addition, I will uh, add some glue when I put everything together. But uh, I wanted to have here some nice positive connection. Yeah, within the four parts of the frame. So yeah, let me think about a setup because I want to drill the holes in one go, if possible. I spent the better half of an hour uh, to come up with this contraption to align them here in all three dimensions to a right angle. And I hope, uh, yeah, it will work out. Wish me luck. All eight holes on all four sides are done. And yeah, initially I drilled now with a drill bit 
for yeah m3 thread core so i have to widen the outer holes to three millimeters and yeah countersink them stuff and we need to add the big holes here for or yeah one big hole for the connector and uh, maybe some more holes for other stuff let's continue let's try the big hole for the connector next I worked up my way <laughs> to six millimeters and that's uh, the most I can do with that thing. Um, so now, yeah, <clears throat> the big guns. So that seems to be fine now, uh, but I guess I will, yeah, mm. go in from the other side too a little bit, just to make sure uh, I have enough, yeah, space here, you will see in a moment. You see, because, yeah, <clears throat> it's a pyramid. My <laughs> diameter on the inner side is still a little bit small. <sighs> That's it. I marked the holes here for the screws to hold the connector in with a little bit, uh, yeah, oversized drill bit. And yeah, now I have to drill them. That was the reason I, <clears throat> I didn't mark them in the first place and pre-drilled them together with the big hole because yeah, I feared the big hole might wander a little bit and then yeah, my holes would be off. So anyway, Yeah, might as well do the other three millimeter holes too. Uh, I won't film that. There's one additional hole uh, on the other part, which I need to, uh, yeah, to affix something on the inside. And I dare to do that, yeah, without a center drill first. I could start countersinking, uh, yeah, all the holes, but, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for the screws to arrive in the mail. So, um, yeah, I'm starting to tap eight holes. Number two. And 
and the final. Ah, six more to go. While I wait uh, for all the screws to arrive uh, with the mail, <laughs> yeah, Corona thingy and such, uh, we can cut the bottom part of the case to size. And I need some other small parts for the innards of the case. Both have to be drilled, of course. This part here needs an elongated hole, so I drilled two holes, yeah, just half a millimeter apart. Uh, yeah, and now we file. Good enough. The last two holes for now. And that's how the parts are supposed to fit together. Yeah, here my outer parts with the connector here in one corner, one DS18B 20 temperature sensor hold down by a little plastic part. Another 18B20 here, hold down by a plastic part, yeah, measuring the basin or bath temperature, measuring the heating element temperature, and for security reasons, a thermal cutout, and yeah. Put a lid on it, which is actually not a lid, but uh, yeah, the button, bottom, uh, yeah, but anyway, without screws, I'm screwed. So <clears throat> I will stop for now and we will continue this at a later time when I have all the missing parts. Till then, bye.